Good morning, everybody. So today we are coming at you with another bus build project. And this morning we are starting out with emptying out our entire bus because we are going to get some spray foam insulation today. Whoop, whoop. What are you doing? Feeding goats. Feeding goats? Let's see the finished product, guys. Wow, check this out. That's already hard, you can touch it. Stuff is amazing. All right, guys, today's episode of Build the Freaking Bus in a Motel Parking Lot <laughs> starts off with, I'm going to make the vent for our composting toilet i'm going to drill a hole that's my pilot right here i'll take all this out it'll be a three inch hole so here is the hole saw be looking right into that i'm going to go through both the inside and the outside and we will run our vent there'll be a three inch vent that sits right here to vent the smells coming from the nature said toilet so let's get started here goes nothing guys And just like that, there's a big asshole. All right, so next order of business, we're gonna paint this vent to match the bus. So while Dustin is painting several coats on to that vent piece that we're gonna be placing on the outside of the bus, I came up to our room and I am going to make us some turkey wraps for lunch. All right guys, we got the lid painted. Now I'm gonna do is seal around our lid to our pipe 
That way we can stick it in the hole. Next thing I'm gonna do is put butyl tape around the lip so that when we push it up, it's a sealed tight. And this is the same butyl tape that we used for our Max Air Fan. So again, we're painted. We're sealed all the way around. We got butyl tape on the hole. Make sure obviously that our louvers are going down so we're not taking water in. Lastly, we seal it up. While we wait for that to dry, we got the base of our shower pan screwed in and built, and I'm about to drill the hole for the drain. So that's two major holes drilled in the bust of that, and that makes my stomach queasy. It's a little nerve wracking. Just kidding. Battery's dead. <laughs> Try this again. Just kidding. That battery's dead too. Well, looks like we're going to wait a minute. Joke's on us. <laughs> All right. So we finally got charged batteries. Let's try round two. Three, round three. Oh yeah, round three, my bad. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a shower. All right guys, so we made another trip to Home Depot weird <laughs> very weird um so we are actually since we're not going to be able to use the shower for a while or actually have the toilet hooked up because we don't have power we are plugging these holes so there's our shower drain and dustin is now putting on a tailpiece with a cap so that way it prevents any type of bugs from getting in or whatever else. And boom, just like that, nice and secure. All right guys, so we have waited for you. We wanted to wait to give you our honest opinion on how our new insulation works. Exactly, so it's been a few it's been a little over a week, I would say. Yeah. And um, honestly, it's better than I could have ever imagined. For sure. So we got inch and a half thick polyurethane closed cell foam. So it's a moisture barrier mm -hmm. and it also kind of locks everything else together. So a few things that we have noticed was it got quieter. A lot quieter. The bus used to rattle um pretty loudly and this it's almost quiet next thing we noticed was when we were in yellowstone it was freezing mm -hmm. on us and we have like we don't have that anymore so it is warmer mm -hmm. plus if you touch the roof now and it's probably like 80 out it's cool to the touch so right. we definitely gained some with the insulation it Absolutely. doesn't get as hot for sure um Plus we got a few windows you can always open in the bus, but I would definitely say the foam was a hit and totally worth it. Mm -hmm. So S and M foam out of, uh, what's the name of that town? Is it Thornton? No, no uh, South of Denver mm -hmm. did, did it. And we went to their place and we played with goats and absolutely it was so much fun yeah totally so they did an outstanding job at a great price they did all the work um and and truly it's in and out um it took about an hour max i would say yeah and we were and we were driving like 
an hour later or whatever. Yeah, the longest part it took was just taping everything off. The spray foam itself took like a real quick short time. And yeah, we just let it air out for a few minutes. It didn't really take that long, especially since we have all these windows and we were on the road and automatically could tell an instant difference. Sure. So yeah, I would say we're totally satisfied. Yep, and I will post their uh, information in the description below. So if you know somebody who's needing some insulation that's around that area or, or what, even if it's yourself, check them out, tell them we sent you. Um, wonderful experience. Yeah, great people, took great care of us. Mm -hmm. um, again, it was s and Foam, I can't remember the town, but it's no. south of Denver, um, right outside. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you're traveling through or whatever, got a new build going on, get you some S&M foam on the way through Denver. For sure. And with that, we have an epic trip coming up for you guys. Cannot wait to share it with you. If you did like this video though, please hit that thumbs up. Leave some love in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Spread love. Bye.